in part four of the series, we're going to create the brain, essentially the decision maker in the behavioral tree. And this will detect the enemy, change the state, in order for the bot to attack the enemy. Now that that's done, let's create the service. So let's go to new, blueprint, BT service, blueprint base. So BTT bot detect enemy. Ooh, let's rename that BTS detect enemy. So let's do one thing. First, receive activation. Now we're going to create four variables. The first two will be your familiar Blackboard keys. Enemy actor. Next will be radius. And this will be a float. Last will be chase. As you notice, my character, when I would run behind a wall and he lost the li line of sight with me, he ended the chase and went along with his business because he knew I kick his butt, came around that corner. And so, has a simple option that you can put within your blueprint service. So, by default, I want that on. And this will continue to chase me, but I had it off, so so I can get away and then kick his butt later, because you know, come back with my homies, let him know, let him know who's boss. So let's set this as enum, and that'll be zero. Zero's default, which is patrol. So this would be an initialize. The next one will be receive tick. And this is really the only class that utilizes the tick. And that's because this is a service. It's always, always, always running. And so let's cast to bot AI. Get pawn, get controlled pawn. Cast to bot character. And next, we want to do get all actors of class. And since is, uh, I'll be spawning with my character. That is what I will put my character. Yours may be different. Let's do for each loop with break. Let's pick from here. You want to get actor location. duplicate that and we want to get this from the actor from the search as well next we want to do is get path length pick that to pick end to path end excuse me and you see where it says radius let's get that and we want to see if the path length is less than the radius. If it is, that means it's within radius, and we want to get that person. We want to, we're going to attack that person. Branch. Pick from here. 
There we go. Next, we want to do single line trace by channel. So we're going to get the active location from the bot and compare it to the actor we just found now, essentially a, a player. When a break hit, and we want to do equal object. So let's pick here. When you get array element and compare, you want to make sure the object we just hit is the actor that we're searching for. So let's branch. Pick from here. If it's true, it means the actor is within the line of sight. So if it's true, let's get from state and get enum. We're going to do switch on bot state, pick return to select, true. If he's on patrol, we want to set blackboard value as enum, pick from here, key, we want to set this to one. Now that the person has been found, he's within line of sight, within radius, you want to begin the search. And that just tells the bot to go find the person we got in contact with. And now we want to get enemy actor. We want to set object for this blackboard value. And this will be picked from array element. And the last thing we want to do for this route is stop movement. So let's go back to the AI. Pick all the way up here and stop movement. And this will stop the AI bot in its path and any other movement that has been suggested to do. And that's it for that. So now the next one we want to do, let's say it's not within the line of sight. Let's do branch. Let's say this character that we found is not in the line of sight, but it is the enemy we're looking for. So let's go enemy actor, get object, switch on bot state pick from here it's a selection true pick from here next thing we want to do is if it's an attack one new branch If we want to chase it, this is a feature I was talking about. If true, let's get the state because now we have to update the state. And let's get the enemy actor as well. 
what we want to do to state is set as enum and this we get v1 pick from true here and now we want to set as object pick from here and this will go back to the array element Let's pull from bot AI and clear focus. You also want to go to bot character and put lost enemy. We're going to call that function as well. Now, basically, similar results are done on the other side. We want to pick from key to state after we've copied this and key to enemy actor. This will be updated to the default because now the person's out of sight and we want them to just, well, we want the bot to just go back to his business. Stop being so nosy. You know, whatever I'm doing over here. It's my business. Get out of my beeswax. Bees. Be I don't know. Elementary. I miss elementary. Why can't we? All right. So that's it. One other thing we have to do. Let's say the path is. Uh, let's say the. Uh, the person's out of the path. We want to go and pick that all the way to this branch. And so that's simply just to do another check and see if that person is. If we want to chase them, then that'll allow the chase to happen. So if they run somewhere behind a wall and they manage to get some distance away. This will still manage to go and chase that person if need be. And so let's. You also notice one thing too. The blueprint, I mean, the behavioral tree service has no finish. You can call a finish if you want, but this is constantly running. It's a tick, it's constantly running. And so let's comment this. And we'll see. Detect enemy service. Now that your bot's able to attack the enemy, in the next series, we're going to go over a few changes and also play test the bot.